Funding for this program was made possible by the Committee for a Clean and Beautiful Glendale. Auditorium for the 17th annual I Love My Neighborhood Poster Contest. Inspector Litter here welcoming the 55 finalists as they arrive. Later tonight, we will be revealing the top 10 finalists along with the grand prize winner. Stick around, it's going to be an exciting event. Well, my poster um, is a lot about picking up trash and it's right here. I worked pretty hard on it. They're saying a lot about nature and how you shouldn't litter and uh, you should keep the rivers clean and one of them is saying like don't litter and you should pick up your trash and so just don't litter
they can um, clean up or recycle. My name's Sam Engel, and I've had the privilege of being able to do this for the last several years on behalf of the city's Neighborhood Services Division. I'd like to welcome all of you to the special awards ceremony that's in honor of our 2010 I Love My Neighborhood Poster Contest finalists. That would be all of you. Congratulations. <laughs> this year, we received thousands of entries from different elementary school students from throughout Glendale. We took those number, those finalists, and it's right below 10,000. And I've got to tell you, we didn't count them this year, so I can't give you the exact number, but it was right below 10,000. Of those 10,000, we narrowed that group down to just 55 finalists, and you 55 are here today. What a phenomenal accomplishment. That's just great. <laughs> On top of that, each one of you, you 55 finalists, your artwork was judged by a committee and panel of judges for a number of different things. And you all know the criteria because you were successful. But ultimately, it was for the depiction of this year's theme for the poster contest, Keep Glendale Clean and Green. A little bit later, you're going to have a chance to see the artwork from each one of you. All of you will see everybody's artwork, all 55 of you, as part of the countdown as we get ready to announce this year's grand prize winner. But before we do that, and to get our ceremony underway, I would like to introduce our 2009 grand prize winner, Michelle Tomazian, who will lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance. Let's give Michelle a round of applause. Ask him to stand first. Oh. Will everyone please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Please stand. Put your right hand over your heart, face the flag, ready, begin. Michelle was our winner last year, and the winner of our poster contest, as Michelle will tell you, becomes the ambassador for all of our outreach and education programs for the upcoming year. So when we do the big reveal and you see who this year's winner is, that kind of starts a busy calendar for that person. So the parents, you can be proud, but you can also say, I need to get out my Blackberry because there are going to be a lot of dates that you're going to need to fill in. Michelle concludes her year kind of like Miss America and going to all these different events. Our poster contest winner serves that same function for the city of Glendale. This afternoon, we're celebrating the 17th year of the I Love My Neighborhood poster contest. This program has done nothing but grow since it began all those years ago with just a few hundred entries, with now nearly 10,000, as I told you before, that we received, and the Committee for a Clean and Beautiful Glendale has sponsored each of these years. But this wouldn't be possible without a bunch of partnerships and you'll hear about those these year, uh, throughout the, uh, the day today. But one of our big partnerships is with the Glendale Unified School District, with those private schools that participate in the contest, 
with our community youth organizations, and especially with all of the parents and the outstanding teachers and educators that have chosen to make this an important part of the curriculum at our schools. At this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Michael Escalante, who is our Glendale Unified School District Superintendent. Dr. Escalante, I think, has been at every one of these, and sadly, I think this will be his last year. So, M Michael Escalante, let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Christine? And we have a member of our school board also who just joined us, standing next to Dr. Uh, Escalante, Ms. Christine Walters. Thank you both for joining us, and we appreciate the support of the school district in making this contest as successful and as pervasive as it's become. Mary Boger, who is a member of our Glendale Unified School District um, Board of Directors, the Board of Education, has joined us. Mary, would you stand? Now, this is not just a gratuitous introduction, because Mary has told us that she has promised to go over to the photo VIP booth and get her picture taken with any of you that want your picture taken with some big mucky muck. <laughs> and she's been very gracious to do that. She's on the second shift today. Mary, we appreciate that. And you're probably going to be sorry you volunteered because all these kids are going to want their picture taken with you. As we move on, I would like for you to give a big round of applause and welcome up to the stage our Councilwoman Laura Friedman, who has a few remarks that are very special for all of you today. Mrs. Friedman. Well, hello, everyone. I have a question, and my question's only for the kids here. So kids, I want to know, did you have fun in this contest? Yeah? Good. A lot of fun? Great. Well, I want to congratulate all of you. You are all finalists in this contest, and everyone who participated in the contest, all of those thousands of kids are also to be congratulated, along with your parents who helped, and your teachers and your principals, and everybody else who made this possible. Here at the city of Glendale, we know that this is not simply an art contest. It's a lesson in civic pride and responsibility where the student participants are also teachers showing us with their artwork what it means to take pride in their neighborhood. All of the posters on display here today show us that caring about where you live is not just something you think or feel, it's something that you do by keeping the neighborhood clean, not littering, cleaning up litter and graffiti, recycling, and setting a good example with your responsible actions. This message is not only taught in the classroom, it's brought home with each child who participates in the poster contest and shares it with their friends and their families. Every student that participates in this program learns that they play a vital role in keeping the community healthy, safe, and clean year-round. On behalf of the City of Glendale, I would like to say how much we appreciate the work of the Committee for a Clean and Beautiful Glendale for their commitment and partnership with Neighborhood Services to improving the quality of life for all residents of Glendale for all of the programs that they provide. I'd now like to invite Joyce Avizi, Chair of the uh, Committee for a Clean and Beautiful Glendale, to join me on stage so that she can introduce her colleagues on the committee. Joyce? Good afternoon. I'm glad to, I was up here not too long ago and saw this audience, and I said, I hope to see it grow, and I think it is growing. Um, we are a committee of volunteers that work with the neighborhood services. I have a committee, and they were supposed to be sitting right here, and somehow they are not. So they are working, I'm told. So will you please stand wherever you are? And the committee people are Melinda Duff. I know she was outside. Pauline Ferguson. Marilyn Gunnell, I don't think is here. Margaret Hammond. Joe Mendoki, she's behind. Don McPullen. Arnold. Milner, Tim Reyes, who's not here, Reyes, Jim Brian Gilt, he had to leave. He was working a little earlier. 
Eleanor Wacker. I know she's out with sitting with me. Christine Walters and Joan Nunner Hutt. I'm happy to work with this committee. <laughs> Let's also give a special, we have someone in the audience that we haven't seen for a while. She's a longtime supporter of this. She was a member, very good member. She was also a chair. Carol Jean Focal. <laughs> We're happy to have you, Carol Jean. She worked very hard in many city programs, and now she's kind of retired. Before I leave, there's one thing I would like you to all pay attention to. This committee works very hard. It, we work with the city, and in the blue tablecloth in the back is our awards that we have won for the city. And I hope you take a note. This committee works hard. And our next project is cleaning up the city, which will be in May. You'll hear more about it. But we do need your help when it comes to keeping the city beautiful. And we're happy to have the children to enter this program so that they get a learning early in life. Thank you. Thank you, Joyce. The late Dr. Robert Newcomb was one of the biggest supporters of this contest. I had the pleasure of working with him to build school participation in this program. In his memory, the committee decided to name the Outstanding School Participation Award after him. Those of you who follow this contest have seen it grown over the years. This contest has grown largely due to the efforts of school principals and teachers who have embraced the idea of developing neighborhood pride and civic responsibility uh, among their students. This year, 11 local pro private schools participated in the contest. Tonight, I have the honor of recognizing two private schools that had 100% participation in the contest. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome Stuart Morgan from Glendale Adventist Academy and Julie Sanchez representing First Lutheran School to receive their awards. Good evening. I just want to say thank you very much to the committee and to the city of Glendale for involving all of our schools in this great project every year. So thank you very much. Thank you to our amazing art teacher, Teacher Joanna Fodzik garcia Thank you, jo Teacher Joanna. We also want to thank our wonderful teachers because behind, behind success, successful students are amazing teachers. So thank you to all of our teachers, Mrs. Biondi, and Mrs. Palmer, thank you very much. Just want to thank the committee for allowing our students to get involved in the community. What wonderful training for service. Thank you very much. All Glendale Unified School District elementary schools participated in the contest this year. The 2010 Robert Newcomb Outstanding Public School Participation Awardees are all longtime faithful supporters of this program, and they deserve far more recognition that we can provide this afternoon. Everyone, won't you please join me in congratulating these three schools, John C. Fremont, R.D. White, and Mark Keppel Elementary Schools. Please welcome principals Dr. Cynthia Livingston, Suzanne Risi and Dr. Mary Mason. Congratulations and thank you again for your faithful support of the program. I'm in really good company with these um, 
two other wonderful women i just want to thank the committee for providing the opportunity for our students because it really is important as has been said to give our students the chance to make our city green and clean so thank you Once again, it's an honor to represent John C. Fremont, the boys and girls, and the teachers, and again, the Committee for Clean and Beautiful Glendale. It's a wonderful project, and we are honored to be here today and recognized once again. Thank you. Thank you very much to the committee, and thank you to our wonderful art specialist, Joan Zierhut, and all her help in creating all these wonderful projects with our students and our, our wonderful students and teachers. So thank you, everyone. Once again, thank you schools, teachers, and principals. We couldn't do it without your support, and we look forward to your uh, continued participation. It's been a busy day for us. We are sitting here having a great time with all of you this afternoon uh, with ele elementary school students. But this morning, it was Youth and Government Day at City Hall. And that's where once a year we have the opportunity to have all of the student government leaders from all of the high schools in town come down and meet with us and learn a little bit about what it takes to be, have a career in city government or be a city council person or any one of the other elected officials. So today we had 16 student representatives from the different high schools in town. And I had the opportunity to talk to them about the kind of things I'm talking to all of you about right now. And I just want to talk, tell you one of the great questions I ask, because I ask, of the 16 of you, how many of you participated in the I Love My Neighborhood poster contest? And 14 of them raised their hand. So you guys are on track to be leaders in your high school, I can tell you right now. You're already on the leadership role. Congratulations. In addition to the annual poster contest, the Committee for a Clean and Beautiful Glendale and all those wonderful people that stood up just a few minutes ago operate the Junior Ambassadors Program, which those of you who are in uh, fifth or sixth grade and getting ready to move on to middle school have the opportunity to participate in that program at the middle school level. The Adopt-A-Block Program, where each family in the community can adopt that area around their uh, neighborhood to keep it free of litter, debris, graffiti, anything to help us keep that neighborhood clean. Uh, Target Litter, where we put trash cans out in neighborhoods that need them. The Fresh Air Program. How many of you uh, have seen those blue signs, those big blue oval or big blue circles all over town that says Glendale, a breath of fresh air? We are the first city in Southern California that said it is important for the health of all of our residents that all public places, all of our parks, all of our open spaces, even the places at the Americana, have to be smoke-free, that all of you have the right to breathe fresh air. First city in Southern California. And as I learned, as I talk about the smoking stuff, I know that nobody under 18 smokes, because we're not allowed to say that. I'm sure that there are some. But I know that there are some adults that do, and part of what we're saying is even with this program of fresh air, we're going to do what we can. If you want to choose to stop smoking, we're going to help you do that. And that's really the committee's task over the next year. One of the other things that's coming up, and you heard Joyce talk about it a little bit, and that's the Great American Cleanup. And that's where we, we, on one day out of the year, join with cities all over the country and say we're going to make our city a cleaner place. You guys already know that's kind of hard to do in Glendale because it's already pretty clean. But on that particular day, we want it to be spotless. We all work together to do that. We're going to have an information table at the back where you can find out more information later on. The other thing that comes up that I have to give the commercial for before we start the video, and that's what we call Summer Night on the Plaza. As um, you heard, the city of Glendale doesn't really pay for these things. That committee that actually does the work, they raise the money for this event or for all of the things you do, the adopt a block the poster contest, those kind of things. And our fundraising event this year it will be on July 29th, Summer Night in the Plaza. It's an opportunity for some family fun. It's kind of Glendale's party for itself and you'll get more information on that, and it's in your little brochure, your little program. None of these programs that I just talked about would be possible without our sponsors. I'd like to recognize this elite group, and I say elite because we really choose and pick our sponsors to really match what our programs are. Neighborhood Services and the committee run the programs, 
but they're fully funded, as I mentioned before, by our program sponsors. A few of our top sponsors, some of whom were not able to join us, have prepared a special message for all of you, and here it is. Let's watch. Hi, everyone. My name is Ara from DPS Banners. Congratulations to all of the 2010 finalists who helped keep Glendale clean and green. I look forward to seeing this year's winning poster. Hi, I'm Glenn Steiger, General Manager of Glendale Water and Power, and it's my pleasure to congratulate this year's finalists uh, for the I Love My Neighborhood poster contest. I congratulate you for keeping Glendale clean and green. Hi, I'm Shannon from Lexus of Glendale, and I just want to personally congratulate all of the finalists for the 2010 I Love My Neighborhood poster contest. Keep Glendale clean and green. Thank you, sponsors, for your words of encouragement and for your support of the program. Drawing and designing posters is just part of the fun and part of the lessons on becoming responsible citizens. Many classrooms have taken on some special projects this year, and you can view these projects on the display panels in the back of the auditorium. One of the classroom activities in the I Love My Neighborhood curriculum is the Litter Lyrics Lesson Plan. Students practice the art of songwriting by writing a song to convince people not to litter. Now, it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you from First Lutheran Elementary School, Mrs. Biondi's third grade Angel Chimes Choir, and Miss Karen Palmer's sixth grade class, who will perform a song they wrote to the tune of the Battle Hymn of the Republic, called Keep Glendale Clean and Green. Thank you, First Lutheran. What a great song and a perfect lead into the presentation of all the poster contest finalists. Please hold your applause until the end so everyone will have a chance to hear their name. And now, here are the 55 finalists from throughout the Jewel City. Patil Labegian, Grade 3, Armenian Sisters Academy. Chantal Kazbarian, Grade 5, Armenian Sisters Academy. Emin Asadorian, Grade 4, Atanian Art Center.
Thomas Jefferson Elementary School. Manelli Moradian, Grade 5, Thomas Jefferson Elementary. Will all of the finalists please stand? Not you parents, just the finalists. Please stand. Let's give a big round of applause to all of these 2010 finalists. Very nice. You guys can sit down. And how about that fantastic song? Made you want to sing along, didn't it? We also have the students of Ms. Palmer's and Mrs. Biondi stand so we can recognize you as well. I think some of you are here. Yeah, there's a bunch here. And Mrs. Palmer and Mrs. Biondi, can you come up to the stage? We have certificates of appreciation for you and your classroom's efforts this year. told them we're looking forward to next year. Last year we had Yankee Doodle. This year we had Battle Hymn of the Republic. Next year we'll see what our theme moves on. If we get a hip-hop song, maybe that'll do it.
As we get ready now, we're going to go through our top ten awards. This is the final countdown. So to get ready to do that, I would like to invite Michelle Tomazian and Joyce Ivesey to join us up here so that we may announce the top ten winners and then do the big reveal for our 2010 grand prize winner. I have to tell you, and you guys got a chance to see right here, the 55 winners. And you can realize how tough it is for the judges to take a look at all of those posters and, and judge them as they come in for use of theme, use of color, artistic ability relative to grade level, and, you, and see what a challenging task it is and how well you guys have done to make it to this level. The caliber of the work, the work we receive is really evident to you, and by changing our contest, you got the opportunity to really take a look at all of, at least of the 55, and see how tough it is, and how every one of you should be proud of seeing your, uh, your artwork up here, because your accomplishment was something else, just getting in the contest, or just getting placement in the contest. And now, here we go, the moment we've been waiting for, the top 10 finalists of the 2010 I Love My Neighborhood Poster Contest. Our number 10 finalist, Dino H. Estepanian for Columbus Elementary School. Congratulations. Come on up. I'll put him in his spot. Congratulations, Dino. You can see that our poster contest winner, we put them to work. So next year, whoever our number one is, they're going to be up here doing the same kind of thing. At number nine, Ellen Cho from Valley View Elementary School. Way to go, Ellen. <laughs> okay, finalist number eight. Patil Labesian from Armenian Sisters Academy. Great job, Patil. Our finalist number seven, Noemi Barrera from Cerritos Elementary School. Now, our number six finalist, Kirsten Yoon from Mountain Avenue Elementary School. Way to go, Kirsten. Now we're heading into the top five. For our number five, Mon Monette Agayani from Balboa Elementary School. Great job, Monette. This one's interesting. Our number four finalist, and in all the years we've been doing this, this has never happened before, because all of the, all of the posters are judged without a name on them. But our number four finalist was also in the top ten last year, Jin Hee Kim from La Crescent Elementary School. We're just moments away from unveiling the grand prize winner. I'd like to point out that the top three finalists get a special recognition in addition to their honors here. In honor of their artwork, a tree is planted at their school, recognizing them as a winner. So the, uh, part of what will happen over the next month is the school principal and their maintenance staff will pick a location, and our poster contest winner, or the, the, the top three places, They'll be out there and we'll plant a tree, and that tree will grow and blossom and uh, provide shade for students in the future in honor of this year's top three contest winners. At number three, let's give it up for Rose Cohan for Verdugo Woodlands Elementary School.
this year's second place finalist, Eamon Azadorian from Atanian Arts Center. Congratulations, Eamon. See, Dino, you're not too lonely up there anymore. So that just leaves us with this year's grand prize winner to announce. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's with great pleasure that we introduce to you the 2010 grand prize winner of the I Love My Neighborhood poster contest, Keep Glendale Clean and Green, Sophia Young from Fremont Elementary School. Okay, let's give every one of these award winners a big round of applause. As we're getting ready to do this, I'm going to do a couple of things and go through in some of the remarks. First, I would like to thank Joyce Ivesey for her role in doing this, and Michelle. Michelle is our outgoing contest winner. Congratulations for your year of work. And we'll get ready to bring Sophia on for that. Why don't you guys go have a seat, and we'll get our photographer out here in just a minute. Thanks. Let's give a big round of applause as they head down to their seats. There's a couple of things that are traditions for the I Love My Neighborhood poster contest, and we're getting ready to head into one of those traditions. And one of them is a group photo of all of you so that we have that for our archives and can look back on this and remember you before you all went on to become commercial artists. So well, there's a couple of things that I would like to have happen before we go out and take our photo. And I'm going to give you a little bit of instructions as we get ready to do that. First off, I would like to have Inspector Litter join me on the stage here. He's been up here all day long helping me. And here he comes right now. Inspector Litter is our mascot, and you've seen him around. And he has a special thing he has to do. So I would like to have Inspector Litter lead us in our Inspector Litter pledge. So I'd like everybody to stand and raise their right hand. And I'm going to say it, and I'd like you to repeat back to me, because this is the Inspector Litter Pledge, and this is why we all take this year after year. Glendale's going to be a better and cleaner place every year from this time forward. I promise, I promise not, to litter, not to litter, to help other people to recycle, to, people to, recycle, to, reuse, to reuse, and to make Glendale a better place. I will be an example, be an example to, everyone else to everyone else for these things. For these things. There you go. Put your hands down. You've taken the Inspector Litter Pledge for this year. A couple of things that i got to do that are housekeeping things as we are about to wind down. One, I would like just the participants to give their parents a round of applause. Parents, you're quiet. Just our participants. Give your parents a round of applause. That's right. They're the ones that helped you. They're the ones that made this possible for you. Once we do the group photo, there's a whole food reception thing going on back here, just like a regular art show. So you guys come on back in. There's plenty of food. Get an opportunity to look at the artwork up close and encourage you to do that because you get a chance to meet and greet each other. I would like to thank you all for participating. Let's once again end it on a big round of applause for everybody. It's been a phenomenal show this year. Thank you all for attending. Thank you for making Glendale such a wonderful place for me and all of the staff that we work with for a place to work. You citizens make it a wonderful place.
congratulations on winning the 2010 I Love My Neighborhood Poster Contest. How does it feel to be the grand prize winner? It feels very exciting. I'm proud of my poster, how well I did on it. And so tell me, now that you're a spokeswoman for Glendale, um, what, would, what message do you have for other kids out in Glendale about keeping Glendale clean and green? Well, it's important to keep our um, city clean so we can have it better and just keep on keeping it clean. Okay. And uh, what do you think is a way that people can pitch in and help keep Glendale clean and green? Um, if they find trash, like litter, if they could, you know, clean it up and put it in trash cans, help with that, recycle stuff. So what are some of the things that you do personally to help keep Glendale clean and green? Well, when there's anything that I can recycle at my home, I make sure I recycle it. And do you help your brothers and sisters? Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, one. one sister. And so do you, you know, try to get them to pitch in and, and do some recycling and stuff like that? Yeah, all of us try to recycle as much as we can. Okay, well, good job. I'm, uh... I'm very impressed with your poster, with your art uh, art skills. Where did you learn to, to draw like this? Well, my mom and my sister are very good artists, so I take ideas from them, and I put it into my drawings. So I guess uh, artistic talent and love for your community runs in the family. Yes, it does. Well, congratulations and good job, and I uh, look forward to seeing you throughout the year at some of your uh, events where you're going to be able to tell everybody to help keep Glendale clean and beautiful. Okay, thank you very much. Inspector Litter here at the 2010 I Love My Neighborhood Poster Contest. We're winding down and wrapping up tonight's event, but with us is Michelle Tamazian, 2009 Grand Finalist. Hi, Michelle. Hi. How did it feel to be a Grand Finalist last year? Um, well, I was very excited and I did not expect it. You didn't expect it? Were your friends a little bit jealous? Yes. They thought you were a wonderful artist? Yes. Um, so, with your new found fame, how does it feel to see the new 2010 grand finalist? Um, it feels good. My year is over and I'm done. You say your year is over, but you're only in fourth grade. Don't you have a couple more chances? A couple more years to go? Oh, uh, yeah. I still have fifth and sixth grade. Fifth and sixth grade. Do you think you could be a grand finalist again? Um, maybe. Well, good luck. And for Neighborhood Services, Michelle Tamazian and Inspector Litter signing off.